What's going on guys, it's Carnage Pure here, and for today's gameplay you're watching a switch gun every kill mob on the map lockdown, and I was switching between the ACR and the M4A1, so I hope you enjoy this gameplay, I had a lot of fun going for it, and it was pretty quick considering what I was doing, I think it was three, three minutes and something, uh, so pretty decent. So for today's commentary topic guys, I want to talk about Advanced Warfare just before it comes out, because it comes out in about a week, so... It's definitely ideal to talk about a couple of things now. And if you've been keeping up to date with all the leaks and the images and the gameplays and things like that about the game, you'll know that there aren't too many guns to start off with in the uh, on the disc already. There's only a few guns in each category. A few of the guns such as the Lynx, the ARX, the AK-12, they're returning from Ghosts and a couple of others such as the MP5, that's been renamed to the KF-5 though. So we see the sort of the skeletons of older guns just buffed up, renamed, remodeled, and whatnot. So already we're sort of seeing a sort of a lack of innovation in a few of their guns. So to counter this, what they're doing is when you buy the season pass or any of the four DLC packs that'll come out, all of them include downloadable guns, bonus guns. So like we saw with Ghosts, with the Maverick and the and the uh, Ripper and then BO2 the Peacekeeper these guns were uh, included in DLC so when you when you bought this DLC basically the game's becoming more fresh because if you didn't want to play the DLC maps you could go back into the normal playlists with the new gun so that automatically makes the game more fresh because you've got something new to do something new to use a new way of playing the game essentially so if for example uh, Advanced Warfare does this, uh, which they are doing it, I really, really hope it doesn't become a pay to win. Because to start off with, before the Ripper came out, when it was only available to season pass holders, it was seriously overpowered compared to the other guns in Ghosts. And then after the DLC came out, they nerfed it so that everybody would buy the DLC, but nobody would have this overpowered gun, it would just be a standard gun. So hopefully... Advanced Warfare doesn't do this. I'm praying that they don't make it pay to win. I want every gun to have its pros and cons, every gun to have its flaws, maybe a bit of recoil, lack of fire rate, you know, just something that makes the gun have a bit of a bit of a, a need for skill to use, if that makes sense. A bit challenging to use. You can't just pick it up and laser people across the map like I can with the ACR in this gameplay. So if Advanced Warfare has that, I'll be very pleased. And I reckon it'll also reflect badly though on them um, for including all new guns in the DLC because yeah it's DLC but they're essentially bribing you into buying the DLC because there's not too many guns to start off with like I said so if you want to keep that game fresh you basically have to buy the DLC so I'm not too pleased with that but you know they'll put I'm sure they'll have put enough guns in to advanced warfare for it to last until the first DLC because I know a lot of people's attention spans are very very short now with Call of Duty. Mine personally I can I can go for quite a long time with Call of Duty, longer than others. I know that I lasted uh, with ghosts until about a month ago, so a lot longer than everyone else it seems. So, you know, leave your thoughts down below. Do you think advanced warfare and uh, sledgehammer are sort of trying to grab at your money? in terms of DLC and making you buy that DLC. There's the mode. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. It was sort of like an old school pure gameplay, something that I do before I had a thousand subs. I haven't re really been doing too much of them since I've been hating ghosts. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I have nothing more to say. I'll see you in the next video. If you're wondering, I am getting Advanced Warfare on the 360 and then um, when I've got enough money for a PS4, I'll buy a PS4 and get it on that. So to start off with, my gameplays will be on the 360. Anyway guys, leave a comment, like, favourite if you enjoyed it that much, and I'll see you in my next video.